Hi guys, uh, it's been a while since my last video. Uh, this is my EUC. It doesn't come with the handles in both at the front and the back. So if I purchase this separately, it cost me uh, like 200 US dollar just for the handle. So the plan is that I will make a handle in the front by mounting it here using the uh, existing screw. I fix it on both sides. So the front handle will be used as a handle for lifting and it will also protect the EUC from falling because when it falls, it will fall face down. The headlight will crash to the ground. Uh, as you can see that I put a foam strip here to protect the headlight, but it's for temporary. This thing weighs about 35 kilograms. It's come with a handle here, but it's not actually a handle. It's just a trolley handle so for pushing around. In this position, I can use it for lifting. Uh, some people find that it's not strong enough. And in the back here, I will also add uh, a real handle. So by mounting it uh, to the existing screw here, then I put another one here. I'll design two handles, front and back. So I need to scan the top part of this EUC because I need to I need to scan the screw head with the high details. We're using a small medium mode with the author. Uh, I'll try with the author first, see if it can track without using the marker. If it doesn't work, then I switch to the latter with the marker. So I need to be able to walk around the EUC. I put it like this and turn it on so it won't fall while I'm scanning. And I have already connected the author to the laptop. This EUC is so heavy. I can't take it up to my office upstairs. So I use this laptop uh, Ryzen 9 8945 with the RTX 4070 and 32 gigabytes of RAM. Clearity has been improving their software in the past month. Uh, this is version 3.2.46 and it comes with the performance testing report and it also has this CPU setting. Uh, especially when you're using a laptop, you can choose between a dedicated GPU or integrated GPU. I already click on the RTX 4070, which is the dedicated GPU, which should be running faster. Okay, let's start the scan. So this is medium mode. That's pretty good. Okay, looking good. I need the details for screw head. Okay. Okay, track is good. No issues. Okay, let's take a look at the first scan. As you can see that the scanner doesn't have big enough uh, scanning area to track. It doesn't have any curvature to lock in place, so it drifts away. And when I go around the object, it gets shorter, so it's not usable. But if you notice that in the infrared, uh, it can scan deeper in the pocket. Like when I go uh, to the back side, lost the track. Uh, try. Oh, now I'm going the other way. Take about 23 frames per second. Yes. In the second scan, author in a large mode it has a much bigger uh, scanning area. So it can track because it sees more feature in one time. When I go from one side to the other, the seam line look like it's uh, matching. The length on the left side and the right side is the same length. But uh, the detail here is not much. I won't be able to use it to identify the location of the screw. Maybe I can cut the top part and then 
I merged it with the third scan. So the geometry mode doesn't work out very well, so I need to use the marker apply all over the top part. Uh, if I use marker, it never loses the track. It's easier to scan, but it takes longer time to remove. So I will use the laptop to scan uh, with the marker because the laptop is better uh, with the marker. Okay, you can see that uh, when it fall, uh, it will fall face down, and this is the point where it hit the floor. Okay, I have already applied all the markers. I think it should be enough. Uh, I need a high accuracy when I scan from one side with a screw mounting to the other side of the screw mounting so that I can fit the handle with a high tolerance. I will mount a handle with this uh, two screw so I will scan to the other side. Okay, let's start to use the adapter to scan it. Simply slowly move to find the, the marker. So the dimension from one mounting to Okay. Okay. The when using the marker, there is no issue with the tracking at all the length from the left and on the right is the same so there is no seam line there is a bit of seam line here as you can see but here no seam line so it matched perfectly because the marker won't move uh, during the scan so there is no issue with tracking the problem is that in in a laser mode it won't get very deep inside of the pocket so uh, some of the screw here is missing because it's too deep to scan so let's uh, move to the next step i will export it to a cloud compare to align the point cloud and i will merge manually merge this uh, point cloud to this one i cut the top part out and then i merge the high detail part in and then i export to the cat Okay, so now I have already aligned the two point clouds together and then next step I will delete what I don't need uh, the top of the otter and the bottom part of the laptop which is overlapping so now I have high detail on the top and lower detail in the bottom next I will merge two point clouds together now I'm gonna save the files into LAS files. Now I'm in the Autodex recap. I only use this to convert the files and prepare for uh, exporting into the CAD software. After I uh, import the point clouds into CAD, and uh, this one is Autodex Inventor, and I start to use the point cloud as the reference starting by uh, designing the mounting point I follow the shape of the top pad here okay the front handle I split it into two pieces because uh, if I order the print with the uh, in a one single piece in the u-shape like this it will shrink and it will be difficult to mount so I split into two parts, uh, left and right, which is a mirror one, 
and in the middle part I print it I will print it in nylon and uh, use a screw to uh, hold it M4 to M4 screw to hold it uh, this uh, front handle uh, will be used for lifting of course and it will be used for uh, so it will be used as a bumper so when when the wheel falls down it will hit the handle first so I can change uh, the cheaper nylon this usually weigh about uh, 35 kilos so one of one side of the handle it should be able to hold uh, 50 kilograms of, of load so I do a simulation I could get the stress analysis if I use uh, nylon uh, it will be much bigger and thicker to hold this weight uh, this is already uh, minimum so the material has to be uh, steel or stainless steel uh, the real handle is uh, smaller so it's uh, it can also carry the same weight I check the accuracy of the hole center I use the point cloud as a reference uh, it's about 20 microns different when I measure with the vernier caliper so I consider this to be very accurate and if the printing doesn't deform too much uh, I should be able to fit this easily I put the opening here uh, just to reduce the weight I cut off unnecessary metal and materials like in the in the front here the nylon I put a curve inside so it use less material because when I send it for printing uh, they charge by the weight and the real handle uh, I can also use it for as a stand when I put it on the floor okay it should be like this it should lay like this if I put it on the stand in the reel I don't extend it too much because uh, I check it it will interfere with the with my legs when I mounting mounting onto the EUC if this piece is too long the real piece okay I will uh, uh, convert this files into STL and check how much it will cost for printing okay now I export all the files into STL and I go to uh, the printing website JLC 3DP uh, they offer a service for printing uh, metal uh, stainless steel and also the nylon as I had an experience ordering from this uh, website before okay uh, what I have to do is just drop the files here all the STL files and then they will uh, give me the price for different materials uh, the, the front handle which is this one uh, if I print in a steel stainless steel it costs 45 US dollar and also the other side 45 that would be 90 and the real handle 14.5 and another one 14.5 and this one is nylon the front black plastic here is nylon uh, cost 20 US dollar there's two nylons here MFJ nylon which they use the HP uh, printer uh, give better surface I never try it but it will cost more for example if I choose MFJ nylon it the price changed to a 40 US dollar and if I use SLS I ordered this one before it's fine the quality is much much better than the FDM printing 20.13 US dollar uh, SLS nylon if you click here you should get the information okay they have to type uh, this one it will heat resistant up to 147 and they have a pro version 179 uh, I think the color is uh, white white color yeah a little bit more expensive I need a black color so it has to be this one 
twenty dollars. If I try to reduce the, I mean you can't print it hollow with with this uh printing process. Uh, same as the uh, so the best way is making a uh, material cut out. I already made the curve here. Okay, let's go to the back pieces. Uh, nine dollars. Much smaller. The the real one is much smaller. So only nine dollars. So the total cost for printing is uh 148 and if I ship it to Thailand with the uh, FedEx Ex Express it cost me it cost me 21 US dollar so total cost without shipping it is 148 so my option is going to AliExpress and order the CNC one for this one is 149 free shipping so <laughs> obviously that that the handlebar CNC uh, pieces from AliExpress is uh, same price but free shipping. Look at the photos here. Does it look better than the one that I had made? Yeah, it probably looks better. But if you clash it, it's gonna I mean scratch the aluminum pieces I also I see people purchase this uh, handlebar and they try to wrap it around with some tape to prevent it from scratching okay thanks you guys for watching I see if I can get the real printing coming in and I show you in the next video see you